Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and in today's session, we're going to be talking about how to draw the tangent and normal at any given point in an ellipse. Okay, so let's see how all of this can be worked out for that. I've already created an ellipse and if you want to learn the different methods of creating an ellipse, you can visit the I button over here and you can check out all the different methods available. All right. Now let's make a point over here on the ellipse and let's see that the name of this point is say P. Okay. So what's next? What I'm going to do is place one leg of your compass here at O, other leg at A and then make a quarter circle in the clockwise sense. Okay. What essentially I mean to say is that with O as center and with OA as the radius, try to make a quarter circle, something like this. Now extend this OC line until it intersects this quarter circles circumference somewhere here. Okay. And also extend this OA line towards the left of any random length. Okay. No need to worry about that. Now we're going to make a line absolutely parallel to this minor axis from point P, something like this until it intersects this circle circumference over here. Let us say this point is Q. Now we're going to join Q with O. Okay. So we have a line O Q. We'll draw a line perpendicular to this OQ line. Okay. Something like this, right? It's perpendicular. That means this angle over here is absolutely equal to 90 degrees. So what's next? If you watch carefully, um, this line that we've made just now has intersected this horizontal line somewhere here. Okay. Let's say this is R and when you join R with this P over here, you're going to have yourselves what we call a tangent and perpendicular to a tangent and passing through this point P itself, there is a line that is popularly known as normal. That's it. So that was all about method one. Let's see one more method and let's figure out how tangent and normals can be made by that method. So let's have an ellipse. Okay. Now for applying this method, we first need to work out where the focus is. There is going to be focus one somewhere here and there is going to be focus two somewhere here. Now with half of major axis. Okay. Now if I want to make the points, keep one leg of your compass here, other leg over here. So this is what you call the half of major axis as the radius and with C as the center, cut an arc over here to have focus one, cut an arc again with C as center, cut an arc again. Let's have the focus F2. Okay. And let's just say we want to have a tangent and a normal at point P. So what should we do? Let's join P with F1 and F2. Here we go. So if you watch carefully, we have an angle. What is that angle? Now if you, if you watch carefully, this is angle F1, P, F2. Okay. Angle F1, P, F2. So what we need to do is we need to bisect this angle. Okay. Or shall I say the bisector of this angle? will automatically qualify as what you call the normal. And if you've got the normal, you can make the tangent. Obviously it's pretty simple. All right. So the bisector of angle would be something like this of any random radii, make an arc. Okay. Then with this as the center. Okay. And with that much amount that you're already taken as the radii, put an arc again with this as center, cut this arc. So this intersection point, okay, join it with this one to have this bisector, which automatically qualifies as what you call the normal and perpendicular to this normal, you can have the tangent over here. Well, obviously this angle is going to be equal to 90 degrees. That's it. That's the tangent. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing, then do share and like this video, subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you get a notification. I'll be back with more such videos on engineering drawing and engineering mechanics. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.